All right, here we go. Um, these are a couple of the videos that are going to help you wrap up the science fair report. Um, you can see already that I have a couple pages open. Um, remember to go back into your Google Docs, ensure you're logged in as yourself, open up science fair report, open up your science fair research. I've got these two tabs here ready to go. I'm going to pull stuff from this and I'm going to be typing it here. The other place you're going to want to have open is Canvas. Um, you can see the first video that basically reads the science fair assignment to you. Okay, um, it's, That's really important for you to, um, to understand the assignment. If you're not understanding the assignment, go to that video. It's 13 minutes long. Please read through that. Um, listen to those instructions. Make sure you're good and you understand what the assignment is. Okay. Um, I'm also going to open up the Science for Background Research um, assignment, and Science for Background Research paper. Okay, and here it is. Here's your assignment. Um, notice the formatting. Notice the substance or the content in the paper. This is almost sentence by sentence. And the bibliography. And one more time, a good paper is going to be over here, getting five points for each of these. A bad paper is going to be over here, you're missing a lot of items. Okay, this is 35 points total. So this is important for me to have up. So I have Canvas, my research, and my report. Let's go through the report. This is my cover page. Do one more check on this. Here's my variables page. Maybe do another check on that. Make sure these are sentences, capitalization, bullets, it's complete. I'm keeping scrolling here. I've got my materials. Make it look good. Make sure they're all capitalized. These aren't sentences, but you're starting something, uh, a phrase here. Um, these, are, these are things. They're, some of them are, are proper things, so they should be capitalized. It just looks nicer if you capitalize this. Same thing with your procedure. I've been seeing some of your procedures. You are clearly copying and pasting, and your formatting looks like junk. And it looks like junk because all of this this ruler tabs, okay? They're throwing your formatting off, and it's and it's obvious that you just copied and pasted. When we copied and pasted our research, we saw that same type of thing. Some of your formatting for this was all weird because you copied and pasted. Okay, that's acceptable for the research. That is not acceptable for your report. You need to retype your procedure if you just copied and pasted it in there and you've got you know letters starting in the middle of the page and it doesn't look very good. Retype that. Do not copy and paste your procedure. That's one thing I saw looking at a lot of your one through three pages. Today we're focusing on the research paper. We've already started this in class. You should be about a week into it. Um, honestly, you should have all three paragraphs typed at this point. Okay. Um, unless you've had stuff going on, but five days should be plenty to type um, 30 sentences. I mean, we're not talking about an entire book here. It's three paragraphs, about 10 sentences each, and I'm literally telling you exactly what I want. Okay. Now, if you do more than this, that's great, awesome. Okay. If you want to throw in some little sentences that help transition between thoughts, that's even better. Okay. Your paragraphs might be a little bit longer. That's totally fine. But at the bare minimum, you should have three paragraphs of 10 sentences each. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through this like I did on the last video. Okay? If you have questions, you should ask. But your paper should start to look like this, and you're changing these bullets into your paper. You're replacing these bullets with sentences in your paragraph. Okay? Notice I've deleted paragraph one subheading here because I don't need that. I just, I understand. I can see which paragraph belongs with which paragraph because you're going to indent them, right? Um, so please pay attention to deleting those instructions as you go along, okay? Today, what I wanted to focus on was the bibliography, okay? So your bibliography should start on a new page. Again, I got to this new page by putting my cursor at the end of my paper, hitting the return key a bunch of times until... It's the first blinky line at the top of the page. So if I hit the delete key, I'm going to go to the next page. If I hit the return key, 
it's going to be the first line on this new page. Okay? Um, you might want to left align and underline this just like all of your other um, subheadings. Why don't we go ahead and keep this left align, bold, underline. I'm going to hit the return key, unbold, underline. Okay, now I got to go find my information. My information should be in my science for research. Now, hopefully, you've already spent the time to go through this, and so all I have to do is find my sources. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to be using Command C. I'm going to go back to my science report. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to go back to my research. I'm going to find my next source. I'm going to copy it. Paste it. Find my next source. I'm going to copy it, paste it, find my next source, All right, and that's the end of my research. Okay, So I'm done with my research, close that, and I can focus on my bibliography. Now your bibliography is a list of sources, they are alphabetical, and they should all be in Times New Roman, 12 point font, double spaced, just like the rest of your paper. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to highlight this. I highlight all of this stuff you want to change. I'm going to come up here to the font, and I'm going to choose Times New Roman. I'm going to choose 12, 12-point 12 font. And you notice one of the lettering in here is a little bit different color. If I go to this little A and I mouse over it, it says text color. I'm going to click on that. Now you can be on text or you can be on highlight want to make sure you're on text and I want black and that quickly changed that gray to black. The other thing that I want to do is go to format line spacing and remember we want double spacing. Okay. And if that sends that on to the next page that's okay. Next thing we want to do is make sure that we fill in any of these spaces so it should look really nice skimming, I'm skimming, um, skimming. Okay, so I've got a little space right here that I can fill in. So I'm gonna find about the same amount that's gonna fit in here, and I'm gonna put a space bar. And that basically tells this that it's a separate word, and I deleted that space just to clean it up. But now I filled in that gap, okay? So that's what I'm doing, I'm going through, I'm filling in these spaces um, by adding some of that stuff. If you get a hyperlink, all you want to do is go in and remove it. We've talked about that already. Um, and if I can delete any of these spaces, oh, look at that. I even got it onto one page. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe not. Okay, now it's way over here. Um, what just happened? You know, sometimes this will happen to you, and you're just going to have to figure out how to deal with that. So let's try this. I don't know why that did that. That's interesting. I have a space in here somewhere. Hmm. Very interesting. I think I have just a space in here somewhere. I don't know why. Um, this happens a lot. I'm just playing around with it. I'm hitting the delete key here. And what that did was that brought that up here. Now it's all messy. And I want to hit the return key. Sends it back where it needs to be. Um, I don't have a good answer for you for this. This is part of working with technology. It kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, but, guys, it's 2014. This is something you're going to need to learn how to deal with um, pretty much daily. All right, so we want to be able to adjust as things happen. Okay, I'll remove that hyperlink. Um, now you'll see all of these are hanging in dent just like we want. This one is not, and so I'm going to put my cursor in front of the author, or in this case the non-author, or no author, and I'm going to come up here to this little blue box again, and I'm going to use my arrow, not the box, but the arrow, and I'm going to move it here to half inch, and don't worry, don't worry, and I'm going to move the box back to here. Okay, so that seems to have done it. Now, that looks pretty good. We're not quite done. We want to 
make sure they're in alphabetical order. And so I would alphabetize my authors, but I don't have any authors. Hopefully you have some authors. I'm going to go by A for American Chemical Society. I've got C for Chem Kids, S, 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 S. We'll get to the S's in a second, but I want this A for American Chemical Society first. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to drag it, and it should move that text around. And I added a space. I'm going to fix that space while I can still fix it. I want the C for Chem for Kids next. I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to fix my text. Now delete that space. Hyperlink. Remove. Now all of these are going to be science buddies. How do I do that alphabetizing now? Well, I'm going to go to the next section. So science buddies. They should actually all say sciencebuddies.org. So I just caught that one. That's a little mistake. It's okay. I can fix that. And so I've got N, A, S. H, N, actually nothing but net, now you see it, yeah, so I'm going to do A first, I'm going to take this A, I'm going to highlight it, drag it up, hit the return key, delete my space, and I'm going to try and keep this formatting, because I just spent a lot of time on the formatting, I want to make sure it's still good, okay, um, so where am I? Yeah, American Chemical Society, Chem for Kids, Science Buddies, Our Fingers Inherited, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Looks like H is next. Click and drag. Return key. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Oh, yep, there's N. Isn't there another N? Oh, here's another N. Oh, man. How do I alphabetize two that start with N? Well, N-O, oh man, N-O, N-O-W, N-O-T. Yeah, so N-O-T is actually going to come before N-O-W. So maybe you're rusty at alphabetizing. And then now I have Science Buddies with an S. So let's double check my work. So I have American Chemical Society, that's going to be first. Chem for Kids, the second. Science Buddies, these are all Science Buddies. So I go to the next section. So A-R, that's first. Then an H. And then NOT, and then NOW, and then an S. Okay, so I'm going to delete this page here, and now my bibliography is good. Okay, so um, this is due on November 10, and I will make another video to quick show you how to turn that in.